hello and welcome this morning. I'm Miss Carrie at FUMC Rogers, located in historical downtown Rogers, Arkansas. And this weekend is a weekend of celebration, so I'm glad you're here with us today. First, we're going to talk about Independence Day or the, our country, the United States' birthday, also known as July 4th or the 4th of July. And this morning I have with me is an American flag. Obviously it's, you know, not a huge flag, but this is my son Cameron's favorite flag. For the main purpose, let's see if I can get it to work. There it goes. Plays patriotic music and the flag flies. And I can even change the song. The reason I wanted to talk about the flag is the colors and what they mean. So our flag, the red, stands for courage. Men and women, many for generations, have had the courage to stand up and fight for our country. They have defended our country against our enemies and many have died in the service of our country. The white stands for purity. Purity means to do what is right. And we hope and pray that our country will always stand up for what is right. The blue stands for justice. And when we pledge allegiance to the flag, we end with the words, with liberty and justice for all. That means that in our country, everyone should be treated fairly and with respect. Now, the colors red, white, and blue um, <clears throat> remind me not only of our country, but they also remind me of Jesus. For instance, the red reminds me of Jesus' blood that he shed for us when he died on the cross for our sins. And that is very important. Um, because the Bible says, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. And that's stated in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22. The white reminds me that I have given my heart to Jesus. And when I did that, he washes me and I become as white as snow. Isaiah 1, 18. And the Bible also says that you were washed, you were sanctified, and you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 6.10 Now the blue reminds me of faithfulness, God's faithfulness. And the Bible tells us that if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and make us clean. 1 John 1, 9. God is faithful to keep his promises. Now, I did say that this weekend is full of celebrations. And yes, Independence Day or the 4th of July is a big one. But we also this weekend at First United Methodist Church in Rogers are excited to welcome our new senior pastor and his family, the Chorlogs. They are coming from Valonia, Arkansas, and they are joining us here in Rogers, Arkansas. So um, if you listen to the uh, main services uh, on FUMC Rogers Live on their Facebook or on YouTube, uh, you'll get uh, to see uh, Senior Pastor James Chorlog give his first sermon this week. And we are super excited. And we hope that you take a moment to uh, check out his sermon and, you know, check us out every week. So let's go ahead and bow our head in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, 
Thank you for bringing us here together today. We lift up in prayers, our concerns, our worries, our celebrations, our joys about our country, the United States of America. During this time, we are seeing so many heartbreaking stories as well as uplifting stories. Lord, we pray that those who are sacrificing themselves to make our country great are blessed and supported and that we find justice for everyone and that Lord, we are faithful to you as much as you are faithful to us. Please bless all the men and women that have served our country, both in the past, currently, and in the future. Whether they're on American soil or on foreign soil, Lord be with their families as this holiday is sometimes very hard to be alone with knowing that your family member is serving our country. Lord, we asked for many blessings to be bestowed on everyone this week as we go into another month, another journey. And also, please bless and be with the Chorlog family as they are starting their new journey. In your son's name we pray. Amen. All right. I hope that we can see each other in person real soon, but until then, many blessings.